This week I started a new project. I learned about refrigerator bread, where you make up a big batch of dough, let it rise, and then you put it in the fridge for up to 11 days. And any day that you want to make a, a loaf of bread, you just go into the fridge and grab a grapefruit size ball of the dough out of it. And you let it rise for about 40 minutes, and then you bake it and you have bread. So I decided to give it a whirl. So I started with three cups of warm water and added in two tablespoons of yeast. Then I stirred it up so that way it started to dissolve. Uh, I used a Tupperware container that's got like ripples on the bottom and so some of the stuff kind of got stuck in the edges so next time I would use something that was a little smoother. Then I went ahead and added six cups of einkorn flour. Usually you would just use a regular white or whole wheat flour. But this one is just for people who are gluten sensitive. So once you get those six cups of flour in there, you want to go ahead and then add two tablespoons of a non-iodized salt. Uh, this is just a rock sea salt that I have. Um, so two tablespoons of that. I like things really salty, so if you want a little bit less salt, you can take it down to about a tablespoon and a half of salt. And then you just want to give everything a really good mix. You could also throw this all in a stand mixer if you wanted, or a hand blender. Um, but you really don't need to. It actually comes together really well pretty quickly. This is also a no-knead bread, which is great because I find I hate kneading bread. <laughs> so this just needs a couple of tosses. Squish it together with your hands to make sure the salt and everything gets distributed. And that's literally it.